You're watching the Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach here on Saturday. We're here for Easter weekend and looking to crown some champions later on this week in this amazing waiting period. We're into round two, heat number five. Two Hawaiians, Tatiana Weston Webb from Kauai, Kokoho from the North Shore of Oahu, looking for a spot into round three. And we'll wait for another update from the commissioner's office for the rest of Saturday. As we get this one started with the goofy foot, Tati on the back end, springing through the lip. Now coming around the corner, trying to get a quick start against Kokoho. And she'll fade this one a few times, setting up this inside track. Starting to run out of water, approaching the beach, winds up and attacks it one more time to take an early lead off Coco. Yeah, that we do, Joe, and uh, conditions are very tricky. Here goes Coco. Coco with a big wind up, attacks that section off the lip. So right out of it, but it's going to put her really deep for the rest of the wave. She has enough glide and rhythm. And now some clear water starting to open up a little bit down the beach. Still going to keep her behind, and she'll keep on swinging for scores. Coco had a 2.67 before this wave. Oh, and it's, uh, <clears throat> this last wave from Tatiana was uh, amazing, but let's have a look at Coco's replay. Tide is coming in, so it's getting a lot more tricky. Coco goes vertical right there, just loses her balance a little bit. I think that front foot sort of uh, slipped off a bit, so Coco playing that recovery role there, not much on offer. Tatiana, though, this is the kind of wave you want out here. Just that medium size, that hits the reef a, a lot better. Beautiful turn right there. So Tatiana just absolutely nailing that maneuver. Bringing it through the inside. She's a tenacious competitor, that's for sure. Never say die. And uh, she is on fire right now, Joe. A lot of confidence. Got a good little board under her feet, and that is going to be a good score. At least it was exciting. The end of the heat, or I'm sorry, not the end of the heat, but uh, up here, you had a bit of a chat with Glenn Hall. What did you guys talk about? Oh, Glenn's awesome. He's been um, helping me. He was just, I know there's not much you can say when you lose, but um, <laughs> I'm, um, I don't know, he just, he just told me there was a lot of positives. So, yeah, it's good. All right, well, we'll see you over in Margaret River. So. Yeah, Margaret's is pretty. <laughs> there you have it. Yeah, I think Mark uh, is a place that she can do well. You know, uh, she, as you said, Joe, she loves those big waves. So uh, here goes uh, another lady that enjoys a bit of power. Tatiana Western Webb on her backhand, just leashing some big turns. It seems like the, the Goofy Footers is uh, having fun in the bowl today. I mean, finding those little ones that stand up for her, unleashing some big turns. Yeah, she's just keeping that board moving rail to rail, looking for that inside connection. Vertical turn right there. Nice variety from Tatiana Western Webb already with a, a good score, a 6.0 on her opening right. Coco answers back that trademark slash. You can see Coco stands quite far back on her board, doesn't really move her feet too much. More of a narrow stance than Tatiana. Tatiana, a bit of a wider stance, a little bit more st stability involved in that. Girls get too far ahead, the likes of Carissa and, and Steph and, and Courtney. I mean, Tyler's in the mix now as well, so it's going to be it's going to be tough. The heat leader, Tatiana Weston Webb, will just slap a little back and turn off the top. It's incomplete, but she's still out front with a six and an eight point ride. Regions that you love and also the rest of the world, Surf League gears, all available at WSLstore.com. This is Coco Ho on the replay, Potts. Yeah, Coco, well, she needs a good comeback wave, that's for sure. Just a little bit of downtime right there at the beginning of that wave. Just waiting for it to fill in, waiting for it to stand up. You know, he talked about how Coco is just getting better and better. Look at that turn right there. That's more like it from Coco. Hotel room, that's part of it. You know, you've got to be comfortable with all that. Watching the heat leader, Tatiana, wind up for a backside arc off the top. Always has that perfect posture as she sets up her next move. Just now fading. Now waiting for a solid pocket to show up. So keep that down the line momentum. Little hack on the back end will go incomplete as she grabs the rail. Coco is going to look one more time. Hard off the bottom. Clean little blitz off the top of the roof section. She'll climb the next one. And now just a little redirect. Nice clean rebound for Coco. And now fading again. She needs something major here on the inside corner. She's got the whitewater to push against. And now she'll run out of room as she hits the beach. 
She's uh, looking for a, a score up in the excellent range. Is this going to be it? Let's see this first turn right here. Bang, throws the tail out. She gets that beautiful drifting maneuver. She needs some more vertical face here, but look how clean and seamless her surfing is. A little rebound off the white water, so she's on her way to a nice little score here. How's this end finish part of the maneuver? Bangs it up through the white water, so nice, clean, seamless surfing, and decides to kick out at the end there. So Coco Ho, is she going to improve? Chipping away at it. Tatiana, on the other hand, you can see different sort of style. She gets nice and low, a little bit more aggressive. She gets that board vertical right there. That's the point of difference. I think that's why Tatiana's been dropping big scores because she's got that ability to really jam that board upside down and get that nose nice and vertical, nice and high out the back of the wave. And then just a little bit of a glitch right here. She finishes off. Didn't quite time that last maneuver. Um, you know, I love the foul. I was just take, uh, having a chat to uh, Doug Claw Warbrick, uh, you know, one of the founders of Rip Curl. And, I mean, he loves it. He's got his own little private booth. He likes to get away from everyone so he can really focus on the surfing. As we look at Coco with a minute 20 to go, still needing an eight-point ride. It might come down to this option. Clean wrapping cutback. Hugging the pocket with those wrapping turns. Beautiful style and form, and she's looking to spring off the lip now. Driving through the inside corner, through that little backwash section, and she'll hang on. But Coco now out of the water with 40 seconds on the clock. She stayed active, kept improving through her first few waves. Her low score was a 5.83 she got on her last, but here she needs an eight-point ride. Let's have another look. Yeah, you know, Tatiana let her go. Nice little foam climb right there. So now she needs this thing to stand up. She needs some vertical face. She needs some radical turns to get that big score. Nice, smooth surfing. I love Coco's style. You can see that back leg. Gets nice and compressed. Now she gets low off the bottom. Keeps that board moving rail to rail. You've got to get through that fat section. And right there, that was a nice, that was a beautiful turn right there. That's where the bulk of the points are going to come from. Scores starting to come through as time is run out, Joe. So Coco Ho, under pressure to perform, turns in a 5.73, and it's not enough. Tatiana Weston-Webb now getting a wave into the beach.